With every task, the handler and the dog come in together and the dog will be on lead. And part of the test is the dog has to stay put while the handler takes off the leash and puts it to the side and at the end of the task when the handler puts it back on and then they leave the field together. Now in this particular task uh, in level one, the dog heels on either side of the handler and they circle the balls and they're given one minute to do this. And the big test is just to make sure that the dog doesn't interact with the balls and shows self-control. As you can see, the dog doesn't have to heal prop uh, perfectly and you can talk to him throughout the exercise. If you happen to circle one ball more than uh, one time, that's fine. And now we'll heal out. From this angle, it's hard to tell, but from task two, uh, the ball that the dog is going to be dealing with is the gray ball, and that gray ball is dead center in the field. The dog is sent out four times in total, twice clockwise, twice counterclockwise, and instead of pushing the ball back to the handler, the dog has to return to the handler when called. It's a five second wait, and then the handler calls the dog in. It doesn't make any difference which side of the ball the dog comes back on. And the position that the dog uh, waits in, it's totally up to the handler and the dog. The dog can lie down, can stand, can sit. For the third and final task of level one, there are two balls in the middle and two balls off to the side that serve as distractions. And this time the dog actually gets to bring in the balls after a five second wait. Now the handler is limited to a 10 foot wide area and the dog has to return that ball to within that area. That's the goal. Unfortunately against the snow it's hard to see my goal post because they're <laughs>